GBTV is brought to you by Grand Blank CTE. <laughs> Be like, hey guys, it's What's Up TV. <laughs> Alright. Alright, wait, wait, what do we say? Alright, alright, hold on. Wait, let me zoom in on you guys a little bit. <laughs> uh, wait, wait, what's it going It's what not that difficult. Alright, three, two, one. What's up, guys? <laughs> tell, us, tell us what to say. What's up, guys? <laughs> <laughs> you guys suck. You know what? I don't even know. Alright. Leave. You know what? It's fine. What's up, guys? We're back. It's What's Up GB. Brains Lane. Clearly, we are not doing the show how we did last week. As much as we wish we could, we can't just because of corona and everything. We're trying to come up with new ideas on how we can get you guys to participate and be involved in the show. We have two ideas, and one of them is we have a Google Meet, and anyone can come on and like answer questions. And then we can also ask questions on like Instagram or Twitter and have people respond to them, and then we can talk about it here. We'll just create the Twitter an Instagram account it'll be under what's up GB and then we'll just like post a question every week and you guys answer it all the same it's just we're not in person answering it you'll still have your voice you'll still be able to participate like you were just not in the same form I guess I hope you guys want this show to continue because without you the show dies so this is our last week so I guess see you guys in three weeks Bye. <laughs> Stay safe. Wear your pink out shirts next Friday, October 23rd. This is a sponsored event by the Student Store team and Mr. Green. When you purchase your pink out shirt from the website, all the proceeds go to Hurley's Breast Cancer Patient Navigation Program. The Breast Cancer Patient Navigation Program helps to directly relieve financial burdens so cancer patients can concentrate on treatment, wellness, and getting back to work if possible. Support Breast Cancer Awareness Month by showing up and wearing your pink shirts on the screen next Friday. Hope to see you in pink. Go Bobcats! What's up, GB? It's Sophie Curtis. I'm here to tell you guys what's up with this year's school year. Without further ado, let's get into it. When do you think we're going back to school? You know, I really hope that we can get back in uh, as soon as possible. Uh, we're, you know, we're working on our rotations of classes, as all of you know. So, really, uh, the, every six weeks is kind of where we have an opportunity. Uh, we want to make sure that we get through those rotations um, and that we don't make a change in the middle of them. So again, right now, I would be hopeful that, you know, by the first of the year, the semester time frame, you know, we're re-engaging all K-12 students. Um, so we're going to monitor what the health department's guidance is. Um, we're going to monitor what the governor's orders are, what the governor's telling us. Um, and hopefully we can get everybody back in the next few months, but we want to do it safely. Um, we want to make sure that we're, we're um, protecting our students and our staff. Um, and masks will be required for that purpose. How will daily school life be different from before? You're going to see uh, less students in class likely when we come back in the, in, in the beginning uh, so that we can social distance and keep people apart. Um, you're going to see some changes in how we encourage uh, people to walk around campus, you know, maybe some one-way hallways so that we can keep people kind of moving in the same direction. Are classrooms set up for social distancing? They are, and that's one of the most important things about returning to school at, at this time. We have to be able to ensure that our classrooms are set up so that desks and seats are maintaining the six feet of social distancing. Um, we have done a pretty extensive study on our building. We went through all of our classrooms uh, to figure out that what that capacity would be with that type of structure. Uh, so again, when we get to the point where we return face to face, you will find that your classrooms are set up in a way that keeps six feet of space. I'm all the way around you in all directions. 
How will school lunches work? The reality is our traditional lunchroom structure does not allow us to properly social distance um, in any meaningful way. So um, there's possibilities of students eating in classrooms. There's possibilities of having a still a shortened school day from start to finish that would allow uh, lunch to be a, a take home type version or a grab and go bag where the lunch would go home with you if you wanted school lunch otherwise you would just eat lunch at home on your own. How will transportation work if we can only have a limited amount of people on the school bus at a time? The, the best practice for busing is to really uh, assign it as one per seat so that's pretty much cutting bus capacity in half. Uh, we are only bringing half of the students each day so while we're working at half capacity on buses we're also only worried about half as many kids so uh, masks are required on buses, uh, but we are doing it under the idea of only one person per seat on the bus. How will crossing work? Um, I know everybody's favorite thing is, is getting outside and walking the crossing path, so we will still have to do that in some form. Um, again, we will probably have one-way paths. Um, you know, so one of the either upper or lower will be an east-west and the other one will be a west-to-east idea so that we're not walking towards each other on the crossing path. What would you say to the students of Grand Blank? I would start by saying thank you. Thank you for being patient. Keep being great. Thank you for being flexible. We are a community of wonderful people. We've done some exceptional things in a short period of time. Um, thank you for showing maturity in a difficult time. We've always been exceptional, and I would just want our people, our, our staff and our students to continue to do that. And finding a way to be as successful as you can. same this year we have to try to make the best out of what's happening here's a few things you and your friends can do to keep this halloween as safe and fun as possible the first idea is to do a fun spooky bake-off you and your friends can make some cupcakes and pick a topic out of a hat and you have to decorate the cupcake with that topic a few of our topics were monsters mummies spiders and pumpkins um, we're mixing it to make this orange color And mine was monster. First, I am going to get some frosting. Mix. And now. Look at it. Look at it. I got a knife, some cupcakes, and I got an Oreo to make a spider. I'm putting frosting in the bowl. I just put some black frosting inside the bowl. I'm gonna make the spider's legs out of this black stuff. Putting it in a bag. I'm gonna go back and add some leaves to it. Okay, so now I'm mixing the green for the leaves. This is a pretty good green, I think. I got a new bag for my orange. So far I'm at this. <laughs> and I'm gonna make some legs now. I put covered graham cracker for the stem. I am going to cut it. Pretty dead. The last one. Next fun thing to do on Halloween is to carve pumpkins. So I got myself a pumpkin here and I'm going to carve it with a knife. There's a Halloween tradition that has been around for a very long time. This is one thing you can do with friends. There are so many ways to carve and even paint them. You can express your creativity and show personality through your pumpkins. The third idea you can do with friends is go get a bunch of your favorite candy and treats and binge watch a bunch of scary movies or just chill. You can prank and scare your friends during the process. I hope this makes your Halloween as spectacular as it normally is. Happy Halloween. What's up guys? It's Ruby. And Brooklyn. And Imani. And 
we are here today to find some pumpkins so we can do our pumpkin car. Okay, yeah, you're <laughs> What's up guys, it's Ruby. And Brooklyn. And Imani. And we're here at Walmart to get some pumpkin pumpkins. Hey guys, it's Imani. And Brooklyn. And Ruby. And we're here to get some pumpkins to car. We will find you. Monster 
Thanks for watching. Happy Halloween.